Hi friends, welcome to Nareshya Technologies. Welcome to the fourth session on percentages. Now today let us take some more different types of problems and let's see how can we solve these problems in a simple way. Now first problem, in a class the number of girls are 30 percent more than the number of boys. If the total strength of the class is 138, then find the number of girls in the class. Now it is a very simple problem. Now let us see how to answer this question in two different ways. One way using variables, the second way using a logical idea. Now let us start with the method where we use variables. Now, if you look into the statement here, in a class, the number of girls are 30 percent more than number of boys. So, we can start the problem like this. Let the number of boys in the class is x. Then, what will be the strength of the girls? Then, the number of girls in the class should be 30 percent more than boys. That is 30 percent more than x. So, the number of girls in the class should be x plus 30 percent of x. Now, solving this 13 by 10 x. So, if the number of boys in the class are x, then the number of girls in the class will be 13 x by 10. Then what will be the total strength? Should be x plus 13 x by 10. Solving this we get 23 by 10 x. But already in the question it is given that the total strength of the class is 138. So, 23 by 10 into x should be equal to 138. So, what is the value of x? x should be 138 into 10 by 23. Now, solving this you get 23 6 are 138, x value is equal to 60. Now, x is the number of boys but in the question is find the number of girls in the class. So, the boys in the class are 60, then the girls in the class should be 13 by 10 into 60. 6 threes are 18, so answer is 78. So, the number of girls in the class is 78. Now, this is one method of solving the problem. It is a very general way of solving this problem. Now, let us see how can we solve this problem in a very simple way the alternate method to solve this problem. Instead of assuming the number of boys as x, that is a variable, I assume let the number of boys in the class is 100 percent. Then what should be the number of girls in the class? So, if the boys in the class are 100 percent, girls are 30 percent more than number of boys. So, girls should be 130 percent. Now, the total strength total strength will be 230 percent. So, this 230 percent should be equal to 138 that is the total strength of the class. Question is find the number of girls in the class. So, directly I find what is 130 percent. So, solving this 130 into 138 by 230. I cancel 0 and 0 23 6 6 into 13 answer is 78. Now, these are the two methods in which we can solve this problem. Now, let us solve another problem. Now, let us look into the second question. In a class, the number of girls are 40 percent more than number of boys. In an examination conducted in the class, 55 percent of the students failed. If 48 percent of boys failed in the exam, then what percent of girls pass in the exam? Now, here if you look into this question, we are not given any values. All the values given are in percentages. That is, we are not given the actual values of boys or girls or the total strength. Every value is given in percentage. Then how to solve this problem in a very simple way? In a class, number of girls are 40 percent more than number of boys. So, let us start the problem like this. Assume the number of boys in the class is 100. 
if the number of boys in the class is 100 then the number of girls in the class should be 40 percent more than number of boys that is the number of girls in the class should be 140 if boys are 100 girls will be 140 that is then the total strength will be 240 now these are the values we have assumed for boys girls then we come to the value of the total number of students that is 240. Now coming back to the question, in an examination conducted in the class 55 percent of students failed. If 48 percent of boys failed in the exam then what percent of girls passed in the exam? The information given to us is about failed students, failed students, failed boys but what is ours to find out? If you look carefully, we are asked to find out the percentage of girls passed. When we are asked to find out percentage of girls passed, why not we start solving the problem from the past students itself. Now in the question it is given 55 percent of students failed. If 55 percent of students failed, then what percent of students passed? Obviously the percentage of students who passed should be 45 percent. Now the total number of students in the class is 240 in which 55 percent of students failed that is 45 percent of students will pass. Now what is 45 percent of 240? Now there are many ways to find out what is 45 percent of 240. 45 percent, 45 by 100 into 240. This is one way calculating 5 twos, 5 nines, 2 twelves. 12 into 9 it should be 108. So, the number of students who passed is 108. Now, this is one way to find out what is 45 percent of 240. Instead of doing all this calculation, if I want to tell the answer in a very simple way. Now, what is 10 percent of 240? Obviously, 10 percent of 240 should be 24, 5 percent should be 12. Now, 45 percent is 9 times of 5 percent. If 5 percent is 12, 45 percent should be 12 into 9, 108. Now, out of 240 students who are there in the class, 108 students passed. Now, in the question it is given 48 percent of boys failed in the exam. If 48 percent of boys failed in the exam, then we have to first of all know what percent of boys passed in the exam. If 48 percent of boys failed in the exam, obviously, 52 percent of boys pass in the exam, 52 percent that means out of 100, 52 boys pass. Already we have assumed boys as 100. So, the pass boys should be 52 or the boys who have passed is 52. Out of total 108 students who are passed, 52 are boys. Definitely all the remaining should be girls. So, how many girls passed? 108 minus 52 which is 56. So, the number of girls who passed is 56, but the question is what percent of girls passed in the exam? That is now the percentage of girls passed. So, 56 girls passed out of 140 percent, it should be out of 100, so into 100. So, 0, 0, 14 fours, 4 into 10, 40 percent. So, 40 percent of girls pass in the exam. Now, this is the simplest way to answer this question. Assuming boys as 100, girls will be 140, total strength is 240, 55 percent of students failed. So, 45 percent of students passed, 45 percent of 240 is 108. So, and it is also given 48 percent of boys failed in the exam. So, 52 percent of boys pass in the exam, 52 out of 100 is 52. Out of 108 students who passed, 52 are boys. So, definitely all the remaining should be girls, which is 56. 108 minus 52, 56. So, 56 girls pass out of 140. It is how much percent? 56 by 140 into 100. So, answer is 40 percent. Now, let us look into the next question. Now, let us look into the third question. In a company, 60 percent of the employees are women. If 40 percent of men and 60 percent of women 
employees are untrained then what percent of employees in the company are trained now the information given to us in this question also are all in percentages and we are given the percentage of employees who are untrained and we are also find out what percent of employees in the company are trained now how to start solving this problem in a company 60% of employees are women it means very simple logic assume the total number of employees in the company are 100 if the total number of employees in the company are 100 according to the given statement in that women employees should be 60 out of total 100 if women are 60 men should be 40 so we have assumed the total number of employees is 100 so women employees are 60 so men employees will be 40 now looking into the question if 40 percent of men and 60 percent of women employees are untrained then what percent of employees in the company are trained ultimately we have to find out the percentage of employees who are trained now if 40 percent of men are untrained then what percent of men are trained if 40 percent of men are untrained definitely 60 percent of men are trained now what is 60 percent of 40 60 by 100 into 40 cancel two zeros six fours 24 or you can tell orally 60 percent of 40 what is 10 percent of 40 10 percent of 40 is 4 60 percent should be six times six fours 24 so out of 40 men 24 are trained now talking about women it's given 60 percent of women employees are untrained if 60 percent of women employees are untrained then 40 percent of women should be trained so 40 percent of 60 40 percent of 60 is also 24 or you can tell orally 10 percent of 60 is 6 40 percent which should be four times 4 6 are 24 now if you look carefully here 60 percent of 40 is also 24 40 percent of 60 is also 24 so this logic will help you out to perform calculations in a very simple way x percent of y is also equal to y percent of x now coming back to the problem out of 40 24 men are trained out of 60 women 24 women are trained so totally how many employees are trained totally 48 employees are trained out of 100 out of 100 when i say it is out of 100 so definitely it should be percent so in the company 48 percent of the employees are trained now this is a solution for this problem now let's look into the next problem a student by mistake multiplied a number with 4 by 5 instead of multiplying with 5 by 4 find the percentage error in calculation now to solve this problem there are different ways one way is you can use a formula to solve the problem now what is the formula to solve this problem what is the formula for percentage error now the formula for percentage error is error in value by actual value into 100 now this is a formula to find out the percentage error now using this formula how to solve this problem now generally how we solve this problem we assume let the number to be multiplied is x if i assume the number to be multiplied is x then what should be the actual answer that is what should be the actual value actual value should be 5 by 4 into x then what is the calculated value calculated value will be 4 by 5 into x he multiplied a number with 4 by 5 instead of multiplying with 5 by 4 so actually he has to multiply with 5 by 4 instead of that he multiplied with 4 by 5 now what is the error now error should be 5 by 4 x minus 4 by 5 x now solving the problem percentage error using the formula 
error in value error in value is 5 by 4 x minus 4 by 5 x by actual value is 5 by 4 into x into 100 now we have to solve this to tell the answer now the lcm of 4 and 5 is 20 4 5s so 5 into 5 25 x minus 5 into 4 20 4 into 4 16 x by 5 by 4 x into 100 so still if you solve this you get 9 x into now this 4 goes to the numerator 4 by 20 into 5 x into 100 now x and x we can cancel 25 is 100 100 and 100 cancel so 9 into 4 36 percent so the answer for this question is 36 percent if you look carefully here it is a very lengthy method of solving this problem. Now, how to answer this question in a very simple way? Even we can tell the answer for this question without using this formula. First, let us try to tell the answer for this question by using a formula in a simple way. Now, in the previous method, we used a variable that is the number to be multiplied as x. Instead of assuming the number to be multiplied as x, let us assume the number to be multiplied as a number but that number should be taken in such a way that our calculations are simple so i assume a number in such a way that it is exactly divisible by 4 and 5 now what are these 4 and 5 this 4 and 5 are the denominators of these fractions so let's start the number to be multiplied is 20 the number which is exactly divisible by 4 and 5 is 20. Now, it is not that you have to take only 20, you can take all multiples of 20. Now, what should be the actual answer? That is actual value. Actual value will be 5 by 4 into 20. So, 4 5s. 5 into 5, 25. What is the calculated value? Calculated value will be 4 by 5 into 20, 5 fourths. 4 into 4 16 now applying the formula percentage error error in value if you look carefully the error in value is 25 minus 16 9 by actual value 25 into 100 25 fours 9 fours 36 percent now this is how you can tell the answer for this question in a simple way thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to Naresh IT channel